Alrighty guys, so another video. This time we're gonna show the glittering Lil K's bread slicer. Long name, uh the enchant on this is on spellcast. Increase elemental damage by eight percent for five seconds. Um and this gun is uh is pretty cool here. Um basically it doesn't shoot bullets, uh, it actually shoots saw blades, so, you know, don't mind the little amp damage one there, but, you see, those are saw blades, and they just go all over the place, and then they despawn. Um, but, yeah, and the the red text for this is, it's pretty funny, it se this seems impractical and that is exactly what I thought um, uh, but the uh, plus side it has huge critical hit chance and um, it has that plus 60 on weapon damage uh, let me show you some of its uh, base damage real quick and uh, yeah it's pretty unique you know um, that is actually really cool that you can see the beanstalk from here. But anyway, um, yeah, so that uh, is... Okay, so I see. The main projectile, which is the middle one, does much, does I think about... Uh, uh, does it actually do more damage? It definitely does. Uh, it's hard to see, but... Yeah, it is coming from multiple sources. So I saw two numbers there, even though it's three projectiles. Um, so I don't know how it works, but I'm assuming if you shoot it on the side, you'll only get one. But if you shoot it, let's try to get two of them to hit. You'll still only get one number only when you hit all three, which you get the double damage. And there we saw two, but then it combined. It's weird. Uh, um, the damage is not bad, but it all depends on if you can hit your shots, because it's pretty slow travel time to get to to the enemy. Um, but the damage is good, right? So I'm assuming you can just spam it, and because it ricochets off walls, right? As long as you can hit some of the projectiles, it should do good damage. Um, but again, like the red text says, this seems impractical, right? So. We'll give it a shot though, um, and uh, hopefully we can actually see the plus side. Um, we'll do a quick little mob killing right here with all these crabs just to, to show how it works. And as you can see, it, it kind of melts them, right? Uh, too bad they go underwater or under the ground, but in terms of the damage, it ain't too bad, right? Like, it's killing them pretty fast. Um, so. Anyway, we'll take it next to a boss battle, and hopefully we'll see how it deals, uh, or how it works there. Alright guys, we're back in the Shattergrave Barrows, um, or whatever the map's called, to, um, take on this boss right here. But, uh, real quick, before I do that, uh, this weapon, like the Wizard's Pipe, I also got from the Parasite in Tangle Drift. So I want to let you guys know that real quick. Um, this one is enchanted, but I'm sure it can come unenchanted un as well. Um, but yeah, this is from that same boss. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this boss. Uh, I actually came here rather than a different boss, uh, just because I feel like this weapon would work best in, um, in more tight areas. And because this is more of a room, um, the saw blades can actually ricochet off the walls and hopefully hit the boss again. So, we're just going to quickly refill our ammo, and like with the other video, I'm going to try to do this without using the buff meister, but if the damage is lackluster, then I'll go ahead and pop the buff meister, and hopefully that'll do the trick. Alright, so let's get right into it. Alright, saw so boss, we're back. You don't want these saw blades, though. <laughs> Alright, so the damage is actually pretty decent uh, compared to um, the other ones, but I'm not seeing a lot of the ricochets hit, uh, so hopefully we can get that to, get that to happen. Uh, but the damage is actually pretty nice. I'm assuming with the buffmeister this thing would be cracked. 
For real. And like these little side enemies ain't got no chance. Alright, let's see. Alright, he's entering in here. Let's see if we can get a few ricochets going. I'm gonna try to hit it against the wall. See if it can bounce back and hit him again. Uh, I don't think so, but... Come on, man. I'm just trying to test this weapon out. Alright. I think, uh... Yeah, that was some pretty good damage. I wish this had a bigger uh, mag. Oh, and real quick. I completely forgot. This one comes with a grenade launcher. So, let me try that, actually. That is pretty weak. But... Um, yeah, that's an extra source of damage, you know, just a uh, grenade launch. Um, that might be specific to this variant um, that I got, but uh, yeah, that's also something I forgot about completely. I didn't even see that until now. Um, but let's actually take a look. Uh, let me do an unamped one. What is that shooting? Is that a bagel? Or not a bagel, like a like a piece of bread that is actually hilarious it's actually shooting a baguette this gun shoots baguettes guys a fine collection. But dude that is a baguette that is so cool look at that guys this gun shoots baguette dynamites bruh all right, well, I'll clear clean that up because that was a little. I was like moving all over the place trying to find where this is. But guys, baguette launcher. All right, come get this. Come get these carbs. You know. Uh, so yeah, it cuts. It gives you the bread and it gives you the blades to cut them. I guess that's the gimmick. Uh, that is actually really cool. I did not know about the the little baguettes. Um, so yeah, cool. Um, anyway guys, thanks for checking this video out. Um, I'm in shock. <laughs> like, come on. I know Gearbox is going to do crazy stuff, so I should have probably expected it. But anyway, this gun is actually now super fun, and I'll use it a ton more just because of the fact that it shoots baguettes and saw blades. Um, and uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I will be posting a lot more content. Uh, I plan to finish the game very soon, but I still haven't gotten around to finishing the game itself because um, I want to run through all the uh, all the chambers and end game content. That is what I'm here for. So, be on the lookout. Hopefully that'll also be coming soon. Until then, I'll be covering a lot of these weapons and all that because it's fairly new. And I know a lot of people haven't gotten all the legendaries. So uh, it's exciting to see what all the gimmicks they've introduced in this game are. Um, so once again, thanks for watching. Uh, please, forget, uh, please don't forget to uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe uh, to the channel. We'll be bringing out a lot more Wonderlands content. So uh, stay on the lookout. Alright guys, peace out.